The residents of Jacket Tower have had minimal access to water fountains since the start of the school year. On August 27th, a water line collapsed, impacting water fountains on various floors in the tower. Days after the line was repaired, the university was notified that a student had contracted Legionnaire's disease. Dave Isaacs, a spokesman for Student Life, issued this statement. Within days of the line being fixed, the university received notification from a parent that a student in the hall had been diagnosed with Legionnaire's disease. There is no evidence that this student contracted Legionnaire's disease from exposure in Jacket Tower. No other cases have been reported. There is evidence to suggest that the student may have contracted it elsewhere. A campus-wide email addressing the situation was sent out Wednesday, September 20th. We were able to talk to Jacket residents about their views on the situation. Uh, it's a little bit crazy. I just uh, couldn't believe that they, they didn't tell us right away when it was happening because, you know, we haven't had water since I moved in over a month ago now. And uh, the fact that we're just now finding out about, like, the whole possibility of there being Legionnaire's disease or whatever it is, uh, it's scary. Um, I mean, it's kind of a pain that we have to fill up our water all the time, but in, the ret in like, retrospect, at least we can still have water like a lot of people don't other places. We will continue to keep you updated on this story.